I guess it's as usual. I'm on my air. Um, which is a good thing. I wish... I would have been on my own 10 years ago. My whole life. I wish when I was 21, I would have been on my own. Um... I can't have any worldly influence. So that's why I have in the Bible. Uh, I was bought and paid for with a price. I am the Lord. And make fun of all you want at the end of the world. Yeah. <clears throat> when I was in my hotel room, um, <clears throat> getting over my, um, when I was harmed, staying at Kathy's, I got super, super sick, so I had to recuperate, like, two weeks in the hotel, and, um, what was, um, whatever, and recuperating, um, I had a high fever, and I had, I was super sick, so then I had to go and accommodate myself to get over that. So that's why I think my teeth don't hurt, because I really uh, made my immune system strong. <laughs> um, <laughs> how else aren't my teeth hurting? <laughs> pistachios and steak too. <laughs> Don't ask me. Yeah, um. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I am on my own, and uh, because I've been bought and paid for with a price, so I am the Lord's. Can't have anything to do with the world, and I was going to just say. So. The world's a really bad influence. Total bullshit. I was hurt. But the one thing I was going to say, yeah, my son hurt me because it's his birthday and he went to see his mom. Very much influenced by my white trash family. It's really wrong. totally wrong. So I'm strong and I made it and no one can tell me any different that I got any help. I could care less about Rick Docker yet. I'm glad Ted's out of my life. I have a fucking video of that old man. I still had it from David. I was like, okay. I thought David got rid of Glenn's video and then it showed up. <laughs> cool. There you go. Two fucking assholes. Dumb and dumber. And in all that house should scream where the fuck I came from. So I could care less anyone that tries to make fun of me. Anybody. The lady with the two dogs where Ted used to live. I mean, they were both in the wrong. Ted and the lady with the two dogs, they were both in the wrong. Ted's such a fucking asshole. He, he always changed smoke and he was an asshole to him. He's like, oh yeah, I, I smoke outside. No, you don't. I had to leave his place half the time. That disgusting, disgusting old man. He very, very inconsiderate. <laughs> Definitely not a Jesus person in any way. <laughs> I like his new ministry, Crack Ministry. Uh, uh, these people, yeah, they, what the fuck do they all do? They all do fucking crack. <laughs> what a fucking ministry. They ain't got a piece of shit. I can't believe that, you know, all these men, like ugly old man troll, perverted con artist troll, uh, he lied to me the entire time, asking, acting like he's going to die and shit. This little fucking 31 year old crackhead can go, I was told this, spend all his money in the one day. And he has nothing for the five days in a row. And he, you know, 
and he survived, which is beyond, you know, all the fucking hell that he, him and Glenn put me through. Oh, my God. All their fucking bullshit. Holy shit. People pretend. And it, oh, my God. I was always forced to take care of myself because of fucking dipshits, like fucking dumb and dumber. And that's where the fuck I came from. And I even like, and then I have these two people who were here with Dottie and Rick, and they were fucking out of their minds. Oh, you have good parents. Oh, Ted and Glenn help you out all the time. The oh, fuck. I never had a friend. Angel. The only honest one. I can't help you out. You get to find your own angel. You get to go there. Yeah, there is a Susan Chappelle. I have faith. This is Susan Chappelle. We'll see.